broke boy, broke boy, broke boy, broke boy, bow. I don't pay to win, I am broke, yeah. I don't got no bread, I need a loaf. Buying FIFA points is a joke, yeah. Roll the glory coming for your throat, baby. Don't try to play me, my skill game is crazy. No, one star. I'm eating the ops cause they looking so tasty. Ha. Gold thread. Give me the ball and I swear that I'm so wet. Yeah. No stress. I'm hitting the lead, you ain't stopping my progress. Bow. What is going on YouTube? It is your boy One Star Week for the you are now watching another episode of the Broke Boy Road to Glory. And as you guys know, we have a very exciting, a very interesting video for you guys today. But first and foremost, if you're enjoying the content, as always, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. And if you're new to the channel, uh, and you somehow stumbled across this video <laughs> out of all videos, do me a favor, hit the subscribe button down below. Without further ado, we're going to jump into the beginning of this episode. And the first thing we're going to do is show you our Elite Squad Battles rewards. That's right, we hit Elite somehow in Squad Battles. I mean, it's not somehow. We were grinding Icon Swaps objectives. I came close to Elite and I was like, you know what? I might as well grind it just to show you guys at home what you can get from Elite 3 Squad Battles rewards. So let's jump into it. Boys, we have a momentous occasion for you guys today. It is our first Elite Rewards ever in FIFA 21. Um, of course, it's gonna be squad battles because you know, your boy chokes Elite every single week. I mean, nowadays I have a hard time even trying to hit gold one, but here I am. I, I competed for it by getting you guys some Elite 3 squad battles rewards. I was doing icon swaps and I saw the, the amount of points it took to hit Elite 3 and I was like, you know what? I might as well grind it. There's a lot of interesting cards and packs. I do need some fodder just in case some SBCs come out. So it is what it is. Squad Battles Rewards Elite 3. The rewards are not bad. We have a Mega Pack and two Premium Gold Players Pack. Of course, it's nothing like hitting Elite in Foot Champs. Of course, it's nothing like even hitting Gold in Foot Champs. But I mean, it is what it is. Like I say always, all it takes is one pull to change our life. We also have our Rare Gold Packs. So there is a lot of potential here. Um, to pack something decent, all right? There are a lot of things in packs. There are even prime icons in packs. Imagine packing a prime icon, Sadorf. Let's get into it. Uh, 25K pack number one. It's not even gonna be a board. I mean, the luck on this account has been completely turned off. I mean, I can't complain. For the rest of the year, I have no right to complain. I've packed Ronaldo, I've packed an icon already. So, I mean, like, what else can I really expect out of FIFA or EA? It is what it is. 25K pack number one was a dub. 25K pack number two. And then we're gonna move into the mega pack and then the pre-order pack. So I think that's gonna be a board. It's gonna be at least a board. Yes, it is. Unless I'm bugging. All right, never mind. I was bugging. Damn, 81 rated. EA does not like me today, I guess. Uh, what are we saying? Anything else in there? We have Dula Fail. I, I don't think I packed him yet all year. We have Quick Sell Guzman. All right, Mega Pack. Was Elite 3 worth it? I mean, for me it was because I was doing icon swaps anyway. But is Elite 3 worth it in general? It really comes down to this pack. We better at least get like an 85. Give me something. I don't think it's gonna be a board again. Wow. Those are gonna be our Elite 3 rewards. Safe to say it was a big old L. <laughs> I mean, I think the best pull we got was 82. Um. So yeah, just imagine, you're playing against the mind-numbing legendary AI in squad battles, and you're building yourself up to pack this. Not really the best uh, showing here, uh, but it is what it is. I guess we're gonna keep it moving and grooving. We have, parked, we have packed Sergio Romero twice in this episode already. We have the pre-order packs, and maybe these will have better luck, because the rest of the luck on this account has been shocking in the last couple days. Ever since the freeze promo, somebody has frozen my pack luck and this is not gonna make things any better we're gonna get hamdala yeah <laughs> nothing at all to talk about here we also get daniel james who ripped me in the weekend league um more on that later we will quick sell this we have the final pre-order pack and if ea could just throw me a bone a board give me a board 83 i'll be over the goddamn moon what are we saying joao felix Joao Felix on the pack. It's going to be at least a board. What's the flag going to be? It's French. That's not bad. Striker. That's not bad. Ben Yedder. Okay. You know what? I am over the goddamn moon. I said I wanted an 83. We get ourselves an 84 and not just any, four, any 84. We get the, the best striker in FIFA 20. 
We sell Ben Yedder. We also get Rodriguez. We get another Shadow. I want to see how much Ben Yedder is selling for. I might just throw him on the market one time. Not too shabby. I guess he's like 6K. Definitely going on the market for that. Definitely going. On one hand, I would like to use him in uh, Icon Swaps. On the other hand, he is 6,000 coins. So, not going to happen. I have Lone and Bape for that. Um, and those are going to be our rewards. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and do one rare player pick pack just for the <laughs> just for the video. And I'll be right back. All right, guys. I was lying. The rare player pick is actually expired. Which shows <laughs> how much I've been paying attention. But... We have an 81 double upgrade here. Uh, can we get something of note? It's probably a bad idea to do this SBC because I have not packed anything um, at all on this account in three days. And I've opened a, sh a crap load of packs. I was about to curse. A crap load of packs and we have not got a goddamn thing. But it can all change at a moment's notice. Double 81 upgrade. Whatever we get here that's not that good will get into an SBC, I'm sure. Wow, it's not even going to be a board. What a surprise. We get James and we just packed James. Uh, yeah. You know what? We're going to do one more. All right, guys. I lied once again. We're going to mix it up. We're going to do the 80 player pick. Because that's where we got Ronaldo. We got Ronaldo from a player pick. We might as well give it a roll uh, once again. 80 player pick. And then we're going to move on to the rest of the video. No matter what we get. What are we saying? It's not to be today. I guess it's just not to be. The pack luck on this account is shocking. We get Rodrigo. Let's move on to the rest of the video. So as you guys saw in those rewards, I did not pack a goddamn thing. The pack weight on this account is pretty trash. Um, but yeah, we're going to jump into the weekend league gameplay. Um, but before that, I'm going to be showing you guys the final custom tactics I settled on for this weekend. Um, as you guys know, we are trying a new system. 4 3 2 one Pressure on heavy touch. It's a very aggressive way of playing. I'm playing with seven depth and seven offensive uh, players in the box. Fast buildup. I mean, like I said, I just got tired of playing too passively. I like to control the tempo of the game. And this formation lets you do that. We have Papu Gomez as our false nine. We have Cristiano Ronaldo and Latoro Martinez as our attacking pseudo strikers. Um, our CDMs here are going to be Essien and Re Renato Sanchez. Seydorf is the one that had the, the license to free roam and get forward. And their defense is going to be as you see right there. Um, and yeah, we're going to see how that uh, formation did for us. As you guys know, we lasted or we, we've left off last episode at 12 and 7. Did we grind out gold one? You're going to find out right now. One star, what was your thoughts on your team's performance during the weekend league? Uh, yes, as you guys know, we are under fire. From the supporters i have seen tweets that say one star out we need to hit gold one we need to get better performances we need to show some hope to the fans we need to get the board on board with our game plan so we have switched the tactics this weekend as you guys know we use the four three two one and how did it play out do i recommend you guys trying it at home i would say yes honestly this weekend is the most fun i've had um, in weeks uh, and that's because I've been playing passive tactics. I've been playing 3-5-2 um, with low depth. I've been playing 4-2-3-1. I've been playing tactics I've been using for FIFA after FIFA after FIFA. So this week we tried the formation we haven't tried. A formation that should allow us to control the tempo of the game. And that's exactly what we did. Every single game the opponent was forced to play our game style. And I thought that was encouraging. It allows you to really impose your will on the opposition and it's it's really due to a few things the number one thing i will say about the 4-3-2-1 formation is the fact that the right forward and left forward at times will make runs that make them impossible to to mark for the ai so if your opponent is an ai defender they'll have a bad time because the way that they make runs they don't make runs wide like a winger they don't make runs centrally like a striker a lot of the times they'll be making diagonal runs and that's exactly what you want because at that point the center back and full back won't really mark them it'll be between them and i really enjoy that so for the ai defenders i really enjoyed playing this formation because it was very um hard for them to really defend it and what i will say is that going forward it was great the fast build-up tactic really meant that my team really pushed forward fast and um i really enjoyed the fact that i had to play fast i had to play quick um the transition between defense and attack was the quickest i have ever had in fifa 21 
and I really enjoyed it. I think there were two key players in this formation as it played. The first one's gonna be Clarence Seydorf. You need a CM. You don't necessarily need Seydorf, he's an expensive player, but you need a CM like him in this formation. You need a De Bruyne, you need a Bruno Fernandes, somebody who could put in the shift defensively, but also somebody that can really transition play quickly with a really nice over the top through wall, with a really nice driven pass. And once the, the transition is on, it's on. You're gonna have your left forward and your right forward making runs very quickly into the box and your opponent's gonna have to make a quick decision what you really want to do with this formation is to really impose your style of the game like i said and just really pressure your opponent over and over and over again make them make decisions quickly over and over and over again you're bound to score goals with this formation i don't think i was ever held scoreless in almost any game with this formation um and i really enjoyed that part of it defensively is where you're gonna have to be turned on all right as you guys know i'm playing seven depth press after heavy touch which i might change back to balance pressure after heavy touch does do a number on my defenders um stamina i mean i, ha I had games in the in, in extra time where Ferran and gomez were tired but i had no choice i had to keep playing on with them and it's not really the best look but what i will say is that the seven depth really wasn't as bad as i thought i mean you would think with seven depth um your opponent would just counter you over and over and over again but one problem i had with the three five two one problem i had with the four two three one was that the the defense on low depth was too far from the cdms like with low depth my my defense was back here my cdms were were up here and there was a big space in between to to really exploit for my opposition's attackers and in this formation with the cms and the cbs or the center back so close together because of the high depth that space was no longer there so it allowed me to really control the game it allowed me to to really um really mitigate the counters before they got too bad if that makes sense because the center backs were always there to, to make a challenge they were always there to, to to really stop the attacks before they got too dangerous and by the time my opponent's attackers were pushing forward in numbers my midfield was already back so i really enjoyed the seven depth um the only thing i will say though is that when the gameplay is delayed you got to be careful because if you miss a tackle with your defender in this formation with the seven depth you're gonna get ripped on the counter and if you don't know how to scramble <laughs> defend you're gonna have a bad time so you're really gonna want to play smart intelligent pressure just like pushing forward you're really gonna want to play smart intelligent quick football it, it, you're not playing quick football just for the sake of playing quick football you want to always look for a forward pass but you're not looking for a forward pass just for the sake of a forward pass you still want to have some intelligence there and i think that's the key to making this formation work so your question at home how did i finish this weekend league and we finished 17 and 10 i decided to play a couple more games to hit gold one and i lost my next game uh so 17 11 is where we finished off how does it compare to previous weekend leagues i know 17 and 10 ish is where we normally finish but I felt better this weekend. I think we f we faced some hard opponents. Um, I had a lot more fun this weekend, which is the most important thing. So I do think I'm gonna try to tweak this formation a little bit in Rivals this week and maybe bring it into next weekend league. I think it it was a pretty good first weekend league for this uh, formation. I could certainly do better. I could certainly be, 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 be pushed to hit gold one um, with this team because as you guys know, I, I am rocking a bit of a mega team. But I do like this formation over the 4-2-3-1 and the 3-5-2 that I've used in the past. It's much more direct. It's much more fun to use. And because you have to defend manually, you're always um, you're always um, engaged throughout the whole game. Because when you're playing 3-5-2, 4-2-3-1, your opponent plays slow. It's just so boring. And honestly, I have a hard time defending when I'm, when I'm bored and I'm switched off. That's just me personally. So yeah, that's going to be our weekend league wrap up. Who are the key performers? I would say, of course, we're Cristiano Ronaldo. But Toro Martinez is, is an absolute beast. He's an absolute legend. He be a cheapish mid-tier striker, winger even. I think he's an absolute beast. This guy really finished well in the box. He's very quick, very good dribbling, and he's very strong. A very complete striker on this game. Of course, SE and the Ronaldo Sanchez were very good. But I think the, the, the MVPs have to be Latoro Martinez, Cesar, and Ronaldo. And those are my most recommended players on the side um let me know in the comment section down below how did your weekend league go once again don't forget to like and subscribe i will see you guys in the next episode until then